the final quarter, it's Carlton four points up. And here, Richmond going into attack through Strang. Strang kicks to the half forward flank on that outer side, and Gould has pulled in a miraculous mark. In this final quarter, Carlton will be kicking down to the Richmond end of the MCG, and the Tigers up to the new stand end. There's Gould's kick, it's a high one into the centre, they back back for it. Nobody able to hold the mark. Through comes Bartlett, picks up, swings around, gets one out wide to the flank, and look who's taken it, Bill Barrett. Bill Barrett. Norley on his own. Kick down towards Norley, but it's too wide for him. It was over the line on the full. Oh, there wasn't much in that. It was over the line on the full. Oh, and he'd be in a better position than me, but I just repeat, there wasn't much in it. By right, comment from Alan Gale. Let's hear from Ted Whitten. Yeah, I'd say it was touch and go. The boundary umpire was 10 feet away from it, so he'd know. Wesley Loffs to take the kick. Loffs takes it now. He kicks to the wing position on the uh, member stand side. The ball goes to Robertson of Carlton. He's in a bit of trouble. Nichols Copman on the head. The hand pass comes across here towards Quirk. Quirk running down. Kicks in towards centre half forward. From behind they go. Oh! He's played the free against oh, Jesse Lingo. Oh, yes. He went got right up into uh, Barry Richardson's back well before the ball was anywhere near them. Four Richardson now difference. takes his kick out towards the wing and it comes off as Bartlett takes the mark. Richmond kicking well to position early in this final quarter. The kick, oh, when I say well to position, Tommy Hafey stood up there and tried to kick it back into play. Well, Mike, the higher that ball is kicked, the more the wind is floating it out of bounds on this wing, on That's this right. stand wing. That's what's tricking them. Robertson to take it. He takes his kick. It's to the flank position. Green moving into position there. Couldn't hold the mark. It's forced away by Robert Walls. There'll be a throw in. He's it's made a great deal of difference in the game, Michael, since he was injured just before half-time. John Carlton's half-forward flank on the member stand side. Up they go. Nichols gets a tap down here. It's taken by Gallagher. Gallagher kicks in towards centre half-forward. There's nobody home for Carlton. And Francis Burke coming across from the outer wing takes the mark. He's on the wrong wing. Takes his kick, however. Kicks it up towards the centre half forward posse. Everybody flies for it. Comes down to Northey. Northey kicks it forward. Gould is backing back there. Couldn't get his hands to it. Oh! oh the result of free kick against uh, Waite. Wait. Against Waite. It's going to Ronaldson. Quite right too, Michael. I've no doubt about it. Ronaldson to take it. Ronaldson, it's a long kick. Down towards the goal square. Up goes more from That's behind. Sweet, Sparrow comes it. in. And there's tip for tap because Loffs will now take it. A lot of tired boys out there. The place has been a cracker well, here it's today. Been a hard game physically, Butch. And a very hard ground, too, to play on. The weather has been perfect. Lofts now steadying down, kicks it off the side of his boot a little. A chance there for Ronaldson. He couldn't mark. Silvani taps it away back to Nichols. It comes out here to Quirk. Quirk in trouble, fumbling. Gets his kick, though, but kicks it high. Peter Jones and Beard. Beard in good position, but dropped the mark. Overran it, Silvani comes through and he's dashed right through the centre. Out to Croswell, Croswell over towards Jezelenko. Jezelenko pushes it back in, Owen backs back, taps it over very nicely to String. String gets rid of it, picks it up here to where Robert Walls moves through. He takes the kick right through that half forward flank, trying to place it, but he's placed it in a bad position. And Sheedy takes the mark. No one home in the Carlton's forward line. Two Carlton players down there, didn't like it at all. It took too long to get up. Here's the kick up here, and Gould or Jones. Jones is marked. Hand passes nicely. Look to Robertson. This. Robertson out. Oh, bad pass. Francis Burke on his own, backing back. Well uh, looked after, too, by Sheedy. He gets the kick in up towards the flank, and Gould is in there again. Carlton still four points in front. Gould's long kick up here, and Green took the mark. He plays on through centre-half back, a short one, into the centre. And the mark taken there by Royce Hart. He's between centre-half back and the centre. Hart kicks down towards centre-half forward. His posse and Billy Brown has marked for the Tigers. Barrett screaming for it there in the pocket. Right, Brown kicks a long one down there, backing back. Lofts is there, and Lofts pulls it in. Oh, oh very determined one, that. Luffs will obviously come along the outer flank now. Or will he? No, he's changed his mind. I had a feeling he might. He comes along the member stand flank, out towards Quirk. Quirk and Clay go for it. Off Quirk's hands, over the line, there'll be a throw in on Richmond's half forward flank on the member stand side. Tigers kicking up to the new stand end. There's a throw in. Up they go. Ronaldson taps it down. It's taken by Bartlett. Bartlett going for a bit of a run. Swings around. Kicks downfield. They go for it. The ball bounces awkwardly over Barrett's head. And there'll be another throw in. 
Now, both sides are very tired now. Richmond's showing the strain a little bit more than Carlton, I would say, at this particular stage, but it's still anybody's game. Coming yeah. from Mr. Football, Ted Whitten, there's a throw in. Jones goes up there. It's taken by Pennell. He's uh, scragged, picked up by Gallagher. Gallagher hooks it around. Quirk and Bowden go for it. Bowden tries to pull it in. Oh, he's paying the mark. Bowden swings it across here towards Barrett, who made position beautifully. Oh, could he kick it? I doubt it. He's likely to do anything, this fellow. He would be 65 to 70 yards out. Bill Barrett. It's a bit of a skipping. Puts his boot into the ball. It's on its way. It's offline, I feel. One and point. one point results. That's three points of difference. Still in favour of the Blues. I don't know, Ted. There's a lot of tired Carlton fellas there, too. Oh, there's no doubt this ground is very hard today. Collins is on for Carlton. Ian Collins is on. Gone to the centre. Robertson, that looks Slide like. Robertson. Robertson has come off. As Lofts kicks out, favours the member stand flank once again. Jones goes in there with Michael Green. Neither is able to take the mark. They dive on top of it here. The ball result, up. Kevin Hall was on the bottom of that. Looking for the free, but there'll be a ball up on Richmond's half forward flank on the member stand side. There they go. Jones gets up there with Ronaldson, and it's Ronaldson's, Ronaldson's free. Oh, no doubt about that at all. He moved into him, and uh, Crouch was right underneath it and paid the free kick in the right place. Eric Moore just roaming around the goal square there, and the big men dropped back to give him attention. Now, Ronaldson, oh, he's a good 60 yards out. Puts his boot in it. Oh, it's oh, a magnificent kick. That. It's a beautiful kick. Tailed oh, off at the last bit, though, Mike. Oh, that look yeah. for all monies to be going through, and the wind got it, Butch. Yeah, that wind is fresh in the great deal. Two points of difference. Carlton's favour. Well, I still think Richmond can win it, you know. It's surprising that Wesloff doesn't play the alpha flank like you suggested earlier. I'll do this, do that at this particular stage. He's now about to take your advice. Luff's now kicking out to the outer flank of the MCG. It's a drop kick. It's not a bad one. Deep to the flank. Up they go there. No mark. It comes to the ground. Taken by Francis Burke. He tries a hand pass out towards Barrett. Barrett tackled by Gill. The ball's still in play. Picked up by Collins, who came on as 19th man. He kicks to the weak position on the outer side. There's nobody home. They're all racing for it there. Taken by Sheedy. Sheedy tries a short one in. It comes off too, as the ball will now be driven further downfield by Roger Dean. And Kevin Hall comes in and takes a time. Mark and defence. A grand mark that one under pressure all the way. Ooh. And Hopkins is on. Well, he's pulled every trick in the book now, Barassi. He's still hanging on to that two point lead. Up they go, a chance for a mark to Green. Yes, he's paid it. And Green is well out from goal, couldn't possibly kick the distance. Young Hopkins on there, number seven. He's gone for the short one. And the lead on it. And Hart is marked. Now, Hart can kick the distance, even though he's still a long way out. Richmond doing all the attacking now. Well, they've had the ball in their forward line for most of this quarter. Ten Nicholas minutes, off. eight minutes gone. Ian Nicholas off the ground for Carlton, replaced by Hopkins. Hart concentrating. Coming up. All important kick of the day, this one. It's slightly offline and short and touch through. One point the difference. How about this? Look, honestly, a count. Count at half time. We're done to a present. Just on nine minutes gone into the final quarter, too. Big John is calling for Wes to play the member stand side. It must be the attacking side, Butch. Yeah, that's a breeze. Here's the kick. Jones and Nichols. Jones in front. It hit down towards Collins. Collins Whoa. grabbed it. That's holding the ball. Brown to take the free short pass. Set the Barrett. Barrett streaking for it. Marks. <laughs> and shot it to the crowd. Boy, in the grand final. He could do anything here. Boy, he's on an acute angle. There's that kick. Look at it. That's, it. That's his third goal, Billy Barrett. Started, goal. That. started off in the centre, went to full forward, kicked two goals now, back in the centre. That's put Richmond in front again. Well, Teddy Whitten said at uh, three-quarter time that Barrett was the boy who could put Richmond back into it. And this has certainly proved uh, true. There's Barassi wondering, now, what can I do? 
Back in the centre, Jeff Crouch bounces the ball. The players move in, from up they go. Neither Ruckman gets a tap down, taken by Francis Burke. Burke drives to the flank position on the member stand side. Kevin Hall knocks it away there, he's in a bit of trouble. Hall has held, well, he must get the free. the free. He deserves it. He's been under a lot of pressure in this uh, early part of the last quarter here at the grand final at the MCG. The kick high, up to the towards Michael Green. And Croswell, oh, oh. no, he's let it play on. And Clay's got it now. He kicks up towards Northey on his own. And he's marked. Plays on. It's a wonky goal kick, though. In comes Royce Hart. Hits it away from Gould that time. Over here towards Young Hopkins, getting his first kick in the grand final. Up here towards centre half forward. Strang in good position from behind. Arthur Mark in front of Baird. Richmond five points in front. Waiting for Baird to take his kick now. He's a little wide of the centre half back position towards the flank on the member stand side. Takes his kick. Up towards centre half forward. Plenty of Carlton defenders there. Not pulled down by Bowden. They're pushed ahead here by Hopkins. In comes Gould. Gould is still going. He can't uh, pick it up. Bowden is taken to the ground. Hopkins tries a hand pass. Billy Brown comes in and round the neck. Clay on his own. Dick Clay is on the half forward flank. I heard Teddy Winton sing out. He saw the move coming. And Clay has marked on the half forward flank on the member stand side. The lead from Moore. The ball goes high. The players move into it. Ronaldson's there. If the ball comes to the ground. Taken by Gill. He loses it, however. Picked up here. Hand pass to pass towards Roger Dean. But Northey comes in. Northey snaps. It's through. It's his second goal, John Northey. How was that concentration, Teddy? Oh, yes. They had it on their own. There were three of them there. He had plenty of time to turn around and kick it straight and right up. But I tell you what, it's pressure out there. It's easy to say it up here. Well, can Carlton get back into it? A ton of time left, of course. A lot of time. Croswell on the ball. 12 minutes gone. 12 minutes gone in the final quarter of the 69 grand final. Crouch bounces the ball. Done a great job all day. Michael Green goes up there with Jones. Picked up by Bartlett. Bartlett up towards centre half forward. Northey overruns the ball. Taken by Hall of Carlton. Hall puts a long one down to the flank position. Here's a go, Robert Walls. Walls plays straight on. Wall steadies, he kicks the big ones off the side of his boot, and there's a mark to Strang of Richmond. That's exactly where he should have put it too, by the way, apart from the Strang getting in the way. Strang comes along the member stand, flank the mark has been taken there by Quirk, he's grabbed, he loses possession, play on as a call, the ball is picked up, hooked around here towards the wing position on the member stand side, Barrett comes in, Barrett tries a long hand pass to Bartlett, it comes off, Bartlett gets his kick up to the half forward flank on the member stand side. Nobody able to pull the mark in. Through they come. Oh, down goes Hart. It's picked up by Moore. Moore swings it around. The ball bounces. Through comes Gill. And they struggle the ball over the line and there'll be a throw-in. A throw-in in the forward pocket for Richmond on the member stand side. They're kicking to the new stand end. Did Lofty give it to Royce Hart then? Ball went right through him. The throw-in takes place. Ronaldson from behind there. Comes down towards Wade. It's close to the boundary line. Over it goes. There'll be another throw-in. They've moved it around... Uh, about 10 yards. Throw-in takes place. Ronaldson and Jones once again. Jones taps it down. Oh, a bit of misunderstanding. Gill's oh, free kick. No right. worries. Held no. while not in possession. Now where will Gill go? He's got no one to kick it to out here on the member stand flank. Big Jones racing up now. The kick. The players move in. Crosswell went up high. Clay comes out with it. Clay steadies. It's a long kick, but it's well off line. And one point results. Didn't when I say in. well off line, it came in, didn't it? That's what I said before, Mike. The higher they kick that ball out there, and let the wind get hold of it, it certainly swings it around. Well, they're attacking hard, Richmond. Wesley Lofts now to kick out. And he's saying, I'm kicking over to that flank. Here he goes. That's a long kick deep to the half-back flank on the outer side. They all fly for it. Roger Dean chips in. Roger the Lodger, a hand pass to Bowden. Bowden tries a long one downfield. It's offline too and bounces over the boundary line. There'll be a throw-in in Richmond's forward pocket on the outer side. 12 points, exactly the difference. Richmond in front. Throw-in. In goes Big Jones. Pushed away from him by Ronaldson, but nicely taken away by Kevin Hall in towards Quirk. He's over the top of it, but recovers nicely. Right through the middle he's going. And a long kick out here towards the flank. Robert Walls in good position, but it's forced away from him by Bergen. He recovers, steps it back, and CD marks. A bigger one, Strang. 
Strings kick goes into the centre. A chance for Dick Clay. He marks. He's right in the middle. Oh, the Tigers are coming home strongly. The kick now. It's a long one. It's over. That's Norley's kick. Norley's kick held by Kevin Hall. Oh, what a pity because that was an easy mark for Jones. And umpire Krauss was spot on there with that one. And he must have been watching behind I was play watching too. That's where you picked them up, uh, Mike. He's kicked two goals already, John Northey. Well, Northey would be 45 to 50 yards out, directly in front, kicking to the new stand end. It's on its way. The result, it's dropped a bit short. And touched by Moore. Oh, gee whiz. I Did drop he, short. I thought he would have marked that, Moore. Well, he could have, really, but I think the wind grabbed that one again, Ted. Yeah. There's Luff's coming out the member stand flank this time. He's going everywhere, but Michael Green is there. Nobody able to hold the mark. Cubs down here. Clay and Hopkins going for it. In comes Crosswell. Crosswell is shepherded by Hopkins. Crosswell's kick is a poor one. These fellas must be tremendously tired. In comes Barry Richardson as the ball trickles over the boundary line on Carlton's half forward flank on the member stand side. Can the Blues get a couple of quick ones? We wait for the throw in. Michael Green going in there with Robert Walls. Michael Green gets a tap down. In they come. Bergen comes in there for Richmond. Bit of pushing going on. Sheedy's waiting behind Gallagher there. Oh, Gallagher almost uh, lost his head. He deserved that kick. And Gallagher. he will get the free. Jezalink goes on the ball with Nichols in the square. Gallagher taking his time about getting it up. He's calling for it, Big John. And there it is, right into the square. Nichols comes out, pushed aside. Down it comes. Jackson missed it. Taken away nicely by Sheedy. Oh, the bad one. Allows Crane to get in. He dropped it. Play on. Ball up. Well, what's he going to do? The goal umpire's coming out here. There's been a bit of a Don't misunderstanding tell me. behind play. I think a boundary umpire's come out and spoken to Silvani. All he did. Oh, I don't. Oh, Anyhow, on with the right. game. Green over here. Taken away by Bartlett. Tackled by Jezalinko. Jezalinko allows the ball bounce. Dashes around there, a nice hand pass to Crane. His kick goes deep into Woods. Nichols again, who's in the square. Taps it away. Taken by Beard. It's a scramble of players there, as you can well see. And it's forced over the boundary line. No, through for one point. Well, they want to keep that ball in out, Carlton, to uh, still have a chance in this game with about 18 minutes played in the last quarter. They, uh, what, 11 points behind? 17 and a half minutes gone, uh, Teddy. They're two goals out of it. Richardson oh, now, he's going to come along the member stand flank. This could be dangerous, but Dick Clay anticipated beautifully and cut him to take that mark. Play of Richmond now, up towards the wing position. Barrett is there. Collins goes up behind him for Calvin. Taken by Kevin Hall. In comes Northey. Collins comes in there. He's scragged. He's taken to the ground. He's still playing the ball in front of him. It's taken by Bergen of Richmond. Bergen now up towards centre half forward. They come out to meet it there. No mark. To the ground it comes. Four overruns and a hand pass out towards Gill. Gill back here towards Wake. Out it comes into no man's land. Picked up by Kevin Hall. Hole along hand pass to Collins. Collins back to Hole. Hole into trouble. Oh, he's down. And play. Oh, and Crouch is letting it go on. And the crowd loving every minute of it. Here's uh, Quirk trying to pick it up. He's scragged. Oh, oh that's my Jeffrey. kick. Don't leave it go too far. Oh, gee whiz. Oh, I think you'll see that most grand final umpires pretty well put the whistle away the last quarter. Well, that might have gone a little bit too far. Yes, though, I really feel that he did then, but... But still, he's done a magnificent job, Jeff Crouch, and he's umpiring, and the crowd are really the appreciating every minute of this. Eric Moore. I reckon Bond will come on then if Moore's coming off. Wait for the throw in there. On Carlton's... A uh, bounce, rather. Bond is on. There's the bounce. Not far out from the Carlton goal. Nickel backs back. And it's a kick out here on the full. Oh, golly, and Quirk to take it. Oh, Bergen got his foot to that and couldn't control it. Brian Quirk now putting Carlton deep down into attack. The players move into it. Big Nichols in that lot. Not able to pull it down, however. There's another Stacks on the mill. And there'll be a ball up 25 yards out from the Carlton goal. Michael, both these sides are very weary. Oh, Butch. Tremendously hard match. The bounce takes place. Up they go. Michael Green still fighting his heart out. So too is John Nichols. Silvani's there. Bowden goes over with it. He can't it's break clear. Gallagher's got him. Oh. 
Bowden's kick. Three, no worry. Bowden's kick. Yeah, I know, but how stiff can you be? You have to stop him, didn't he? Dean leading out to that opposite flank, and he's on at the lead too, but the kick's not a good one. Let's uh, Pennell in, and Crane. Crane's got a shot at goal here. It's right across the face of goal for one point. 11 points the difference. Two straight kicks. Two straight kicks, and Carlton are back in front, and, and they're attacking. And 20 minutes gone. 20 about minutes 10 gone. minutes to go. I was about to say that. Richardson now. It's a game of cat and mouse here now. Nobody wants to make the error. Richardson, very doubtful as to where he should kick in, and I think he's picked the wrong flank. The kick out here where Big Jones moves in, punches over the top of Green, taken away nicely by Clay, though, and here's Ronaldson's chance to mark. Over the top of him comes Wake. He forces the ball over the boundary line, and it'll be a throw-in. Now it's uh, just forward of the centre wing position. Richmond in good position here now. Big Jones from behind. And hits though, nicely hit down to Bartlett though. Bartlett kicks. And there's Barrett on his own here. He's marked it. Beautifully placed ball there by Bartlett. The bond in the square. Have a look at him, Billy. <coughs> well, he'll have a shot. But Bartlett up there in the forward zone too as uh, Barrett comes up to take his kick. Billy Barrett puts his boot behind it. It's dropping short and forced through for one behind. Exactly 12 points the difference again. Richmond hanging on to this. 8-12, 10-12. Richmond's favour. The people are at fever pitch here at the MCG. Oh, Loft should go down the middle. Loft's kick now out towards the member stand flank once again. And Michael Green, the hero, has pulled it down. I tell you what, if he turns out to be a good a lawyer as he is solicitor, watch out some of the big boys. Michael Green is well, he's a good 65 yards out on an angle. He's kicked. The wind is bringing it around. I don't think they'll bring it around enough. Another behind to the Tigers. Well, that's that. It's pretty safe. They need three goals now, Carlton. So, 13 points in front, Richmond. 23 points. And as we mentioned earlier, it was going to be the survival of the fittest here. And no doubt that Richmond are coming home better. Wait about to kick in. And it's a good kick too. Bowden in front will take the mark. Oh, they're playing as if they got the smell of this 1969 Premiership flag in their hands. 22 and a half minutes of the final quarter gone. At the 1969 Grand Final, Al St. Kevin's boy, Michael Bowden, puts his boot into it. It's off the side a trifle, and Loss comes out and marks there in defence. He says, get away. Oh, don't do that now, Wes. Oh, one mistake and you're out. Loss kick to the half-back flank. Quirk comes in there, has it knocked away by Clay. Goes over towards Northey. Northey can't pick it up. Kevin Hall comes through there. Hall picks up, he runs into trouble, however. Too high. And he's getting a free. A little bit high. Hand pass immediately to Gould. Gould knocked it on. It goes to Sergio Silvani. The old champ kicks down to the half fourth flank. Hopkins takes it on the half volley. Hooks it around there towards centre half forward. But waiting there is Kevin Sheedy of Richmond. They've got them covered, Mike. Richmond are playing like a side yard penalty. Gee, and that breeze has sprung up. I want credit to Tommy Hafey, eh? The fellas that try to undermine him midway through the season must be looking very red in the face right now. Up they go. It's Richmond again. Michael Green. Green takes a short one out here. He must Bad be one. pretty... Oh! There could be a free to Collins. The play on is a call. Roger Bean comes in. Bean's still going. The whistle hasn't blown. And Carlton get it down to their half forward flank on the outer side. There's old sideburn Sheedy himself. Mark Looking for the forwards down there, the Carlton forwards. The kick now, up towards centre half forward, up they go once again. Nichols is there. Nichols uh, can't get pick the ball up. In comes little Bartlett of Richmond. Oh, oh how do you do, sir? Look at, right on oh, his uh, baton boy, there. Bartlett too. He copped another one just after that. And he went down again. Now Bartlett couldn't possibly kick the distance here, but he'll look for the pass. 25 minutes, just about 25 is it Just like? on 25 minutes gone, Alan, yes. Now here's the kick by Bartlett. 
It's a wonky one off the side of his boot. No, he's a chance. Lofts also through came weight, but look, they can hardly walk these players, much less run. What a tremendous grand final. Throw in, in Richmond's forward pocket. In comes Nichols, hits down nicely to Gallagher. Gallagher in drive. Oh, around the and, neck. And yes, around the neck. He played for it and got it. I don't think he played for anything, Butch. I think he just wanted to get out of there. Gallagher to take it. He's in the back pocket on the member stand side. Takes his kick. Plenty of Richmond fellows there. Jessalenko, oh, he's up there. They're taken by Bartlett. Bartlett blazes away in the goal score. Look at that. On. Oh, in the goal score. Now, I don't believe umpires should touch players. That's right. Right, right, right off the line. Right now, being settled down by Crouch. What's he is? This is over. Bond, right through the middle. And the Tigers roar. A tremendous number of people. I'd say they'd be about equally divided on a huge crowd here at the MCG. In the time on now, the 69 grand final. Carl Nate, 12. Richmond, 11.30. Six minutes gone. And they shot the ribbons, Carlton, just looking at them now. Oh, the, they're uh, tired, Richmond Ted. side, and they're inspired by those last couple of goals, and they're certainly playing like that. Oh, haven't they come home strongly? Back in the centre, the ball's bounced. Nichols is there, takes it, he hands it across to Silvani. Silvani gets a quick kick, but it's intercepted by Bergen of Richmond. Bergen, it's a long one to the half fourth, back on the member stand side, and there it is. Bowden. Michael Bowden to take them up. And cleaning all that rich place. Have a look. Well, they oh, got it. Out. Bowden now. Carlton players looking pretty weary as Richmond come home like trains. There's a kick down forward. Silvani still trying. Hart went up there. Bartlett! something then Tommy Hafey sent the runner out again for something or other oh he's taking uh, Bowden off and bringing Rex Hunt on there's Dick Clay going forward for the Tigers Clay now to the half forward flank on the outer side Ian Collins of Carlton is marked Collins now about to put the Blues into attack time quickly running out for last year's premiers the kick towards centre half four they set themselves oh bad uh, Oh, I've got him all mixed up. Was what it was Bergen it went high. up high. Bergen went up high for Richmond too. And through comes Crane for Carlton. Overruns the ball. Taken by Francis Burke. Francis Burke to the weak position on the outer side. And little Billy Brown has marked. Gee, Bergen went up. Crosswell apparently went up high too, Ted. That's right. There it is, out to the weak position once again. Through comes Collins. Collins of Carlton down towards centre half board. And here's Bergen. I won't stand on this time. He wanted to improve at this point. Oh, oh, he's played magnificently. Bergen now. He takes his kick out towards the wing position on the outer side. And all those players are still fighting their hearts out there. A chance here for Crane. Crane's still battling on for the Blues. This kick hasn't got a great deal of strength. It falls into the arms of Gallagher. And Carlton going down valiantly. Kick from Gallagher down to the okay. goal square. It's a long kick. Jackson's in there, but who is it? Richardson. None other than Barry Richardson. I knew who it was, Teddy. That Played a great has, game. He has played probably the equal, if not better, than any other man on the ground. Yes, true. 29 minutes gone now. And the sands of time is going away from Carl. A valiant effort. That they put in a tremendous third quarter. And it just took too much out of them, really, to get back and lead Richmond. Billy Brown now gets the kick in towards the centre. Big Michael Green in there, but it's punched down. Taken away nicely by Royce Hart. Gets under that left foot. Hooks it in towards centre half board. No mark to Bartlett. Down it comes. Through goes Loss. Trying hard. Little Hopkins gets it. Kicks up towards the flank. Oh, and more to centre half forward. Through comes Bergen again. His kick goes up towards centre half forward. Loss marks. Give full credit to Carlton too. Give credit to Carlton. 
credit for Carlton. Oh, They're not yes. giving up easily, are they? Oh, they've tried. And Luff says to Barrett, and oh, mate's actually, get out of my way, son. Luffsy takes his kick now, down towards in a half forward. Silvani is there and Silvani marks. Silvani swings around, kicks it out towards a pocket on the outer side. Jesselenko's there, but the ball bounces awkwardly for him. Through comes Barry Richardson once again. Richardson deep to the half forward flank on the outer side. The ball bounces, taken by Roger Dean. Roger Dean oh, up towards in a half forward. Kick it's northeast ball. free kick. Northey is a little wide of centre half forward, out towards a flank on the outer side. 30 and a half minutes gone of the final quarter. John Northey, what a player he is, and Kevin Hall has done well on him too, Ted. That's right, he's had a pretty hard job, mate. The kick from Northey downstream, it's fumbled there, it's got to Pennell. Pennell now out to the flank on the outer side. The players set themselves, nobody able to mark. Francis Burke was in that lot. Silvani's got it. Silvani struggles it forward, taken by Crane. Crane swings around, gets his kick to the half forward flank on the outer side. But Jackson's in front of the hills and it in. the mark, and that's the mark. Premier's moving 69. Richmond Premier's moving 69. And the final scoreboard reads Carlton 8, 12, 16. Richmond 12, 